whoever you may be, whatever you believe your skills are, whatever you believe your gifts may or may not be, I want to encourage you that the Lord can use you. And it may not be in some grand way that people write books about, but the Lord can use you. William Carey is a, a name that I'm sure most of us know. You know, he went to school until he was about 12 years old, and then he went on to become an, an apprentice as a, a shoe cobbler in Northamptonshire in England. And I've been to the region or the, the town where he's from, and I have a friend who pastors a church nearby. You know, William Carey, uh, later in life, had been used of the Lord in a great way. He was a missionary to India. Um, he became very, very well known. And he was invited to several gatherings where there were very wealthy individuals and leaders of nations. And one lady, in kind of a self-righteous way, came to him once and said, uh, Mr. Carey, I heard that you used to be a shoemaker. And he humbly responded, no, just a shoe cobbler. You know, he said, no, I didn't even make shoes, I just mended shoes. And yet here is a man who was used of God in a great way. He was incredibly humble. He became known as the father and founder of modern missions. He translated the Bible into six different languages and helped translate parts of it into 29 others. He compiled dictionaries for some of those languages that are still the foundation for those languages today. He founded uh, one of the first national newspapers in India, and it's still running today. The first college that awarded degrees was started by William Carey, uh, and again, it's still very influential. There were those who came to know the Lord as their savior and churches that were started. He helped urge the government to stop the, the, the murder and sacrifice of children and the practice of when a husband died, of when the husband was burned and cremated, that the wife would very often would be thrown on to the funeral pyre as well. Here was a man that was used of God in a great way, and yet humanly speaking, he was not anything that the world would look at and say, well, there's someone that God can use. There's a leader of nations. There's a leader of men and women who will be spoken of for hundreds of years to come. And yet God used him still. And God can use each one of you. When we look at the account we have in Mark Gospel this morning, the first thing that we'll see um, is that Jesus Christ called the sinful. We see the calling of the sinful. And Levi was not an individual that you would look at and say, well, there needs to be a follower of Jesus. Humanly speaking, he was not someone that we would perhaps look up to. And certainly the people of Jerusalem and of uh, Israel never looked up to him. These would have been individuals who were greedy, deceitful, traitors, and selfish. It's said in later records that the men who sat at the receipt of custom at this time were more unpopular than a leper. We went to great uh, lengths to explain how uh, undesirable the lepers were in Jesus' day. And there were those who'd say that the tax collector in this event, not tax collectors today, don't get me wrong, I'm not, this isn't a sermon against taxes. The tax collector of Jesus' day was someone who's considered to be worse than a leper. He was a sinner by anybody's definition. And yet Jesus would call the sinful to follow him. He looks at that man who nobody else in that crowd would have thought anything of, and he says, follow me. That's an incredible thing. That's an amazing thing that the Lord would look at him and not see who he was, but who he could be in Jesus Christ. 